What's up, Wildcat fans? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com, your home of Wildback, Wildcat basketball all season long and proud to be a part of that. Coach's Corner with the Struthers Wildcats, sponsored by WRS Insurance Solutions, a great sponsor for high school basketball all season long, and it gives the opportunity for you great Wildcat fans to watch Struthers all season long. Joined again by the head ball coach, Coach Mike Renecki. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me again. Always a pleasure. It, these weeks are going fast, Coach. We are. Uh... <laughs> you realize we're we're four weeks um, Saturday from the district championship day. Not that we'll be a part of it, but that's we're only four weeks away from the end of the district. It's hard to believe that we've gotten to this point. Um, you know, November first, October thirty first, thirtieth, when we started practicing in, in our first game on December first i believe it was it just it feels like forever ago and 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 it's just, it's hard to believe that we're this is where we're at yeah let's go to that four weeks are, are you anything surprise you coach about this, this this season anything stick out differently or how, since the last time we've talked you said that this basketball team and your staff things are getting back in the business after christmas break uh yeah. pretty much status quo the same way yeah you know i i will say this i was surprised and I, I don't know if the word is the, the word surprise applies, but, you know, we had gotten through the holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's with really no shutdowns. Right. Um, and then all of a sudden in the last like two weeks, two and a half weeks, it's just been a mad frenzy of of everybody, you know, moving in, moving out. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to convince or trying to find games, you know, the night before, you know, you, you find out on a Monday that your Tuesday game's out and you're playing somebody else on Wednesday. Uh, I was I didn't see that coming because I think we were lulled into a, a pattern of, well, you know, we're just going to all be OK. Right. And then all of a sudden, you know, all heck broke loose. And, you know, here we are. So I, I'll say that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, but everything else has been, you know, I think our area in general has been very lucky and very blessed. Um, you know, you look at records across the state of other teams and the Mahoning Valley has really been lucky in the fact that everybody's almost gotten in at least three quarters of their season. Yeah. With coach Warnecki, coach's corner to head coach of Struthers coach. It, it is a little scary. These last few days here, you see a lot of quarantining going on. Is there anything you do or anything you try to do with your kids as you head down the stretch here? Or are you pretty much those same reminders that's been that way all season? I remind them every day, um, you know, make them wear masks. I watch them wash their hands. And after that, you know, there's really no, it's you're up to the gods here on this. I mean, you know, fate is going to either take it away from you or allow you to keep going. I hate to say it like that, but, you know, I've seen people that, you know, have been very diligent and still gotten it. And, sure. you know, some we just don't know where you're going to get it. Um, and hopefully we, we stay lucky. I mean, you know, that's the one thing that keeps me up at night um, that, you know, your season could end in two weeks. You know, if if a, if it was a contact tracing scenario where, say, you play your first round game in the tournament, and somebody else tests positive, and you have to go into quarantine, your season's over, and that's the thing that keeps me up at night. Well, I don't blame you. That would keep me up at night too. That's the harsh reality of all this. We talk about that a lot on YSN. It's a it's a day by day process, but this basketball team coach continues to get better. Uh, you you win a good game Friday night over at Gerard. Talk about that. Well, I mean, I think you're, what you're seeing is the uh, at least with the Trumbull schools and, and some other schools who had been out, they're really starting to kind of get into form now. Um, you know, I think, you know, Gerard was much, much improved the second time around than when we played him the first time around. And I think a lot of that, you know, when we when we first played him, they only had, you know, three or four, two, three games under their belt. You know, you play him again. You know, now they've got 10, 11, you know, nine, 10 games. And that, and that makes a huge difference. I think everybody's improving. I look at, you know, we play Hubbard tomorrow. And Hubbard is much improved from when we played him before. South Range was much better the second time around when we played him. Um, you know, I think it's just been the you know, same thing with Jefferson. You know, when we played Jefferson, it was their second game. And they had just come off a, a two-week quarantine. So, you know, the te a, a lot of teams around here are definitely improving. And even some of the teams that we haven't played that I've been watching, you know, on, on TV or on film or on YSN um, have all gotten better. So I think everybody now who's still playing is starting to, 
you know, get their stride, especially the teams that had lost a lot of games a lot of time early. Yeah, there's no question. Teams have lost a lot of games. We go to last night's game, Warren JFK. There's a prime example, Coach. Yeah. That is a dangerous basketball team come tournament time. Uh, you had a good win against them last night. Very athletic. Talk about the JFK game last night and your thoughts on that one. Well, you know, I was nervous because, um, you know, they have a lot of guys. They had basically four of the five starters back from when we played them last year. And that's the team that was in their district championship game. And they had high expectations this year. And I think – you know, they're going to be there at the end again in Division Four, as long as, you know, as long as they're fortunate enough to keep playing. So we didn't have a whole lot of film on them, and everything that we got was in a hurry because they played Saturday, Sunday. They were off Monday, and then they played Tuesday, had a great win at Waterloo, and, and you know, came in really on a little streak there. And, uh, and I was nervous. You know, we hadn't played since Friday. They played, you know, three games in a couple days, and, and uh, they have all the ingredients – to, to beat really good teams. They shoot the ball very well. They can score. They've got some things defensively that can disrupt you. And they've got some experience and they've got some, some size. So, you know, that's a very good basketball team. Yeah, that's a good basketball team. And obviously, Struthers playing very well. You had a great game last night that leads us up tomorrow. You, you play against uh, the Hubbard Eagles. Talk about your thoughts of what your basketball team needs to do Tomorrow night against Hubbard, we're with Coach Warnecki, Coach's Corner, sponsored by WRS Insurance. We'll have the game for you on YSNlive.com tomorrow. Your thoughts on what your ball club needs to do tomorrow night against Hubbard? Well, first of all, we need to be ready to play. Um, you know, defensively, they're, they're pushing the ball much harder than they were earlier. I mean, you know, they've won two two games in a row, three of their last four. Again, this is a classic example, example of another team that now that they've had, they've been able to put some time in and, and, consistently practice and play um they're much much improved now they you know they beat a very good crestview team last night um and they kind of led wire to wire and the same thing with their game on saturday against matthews so number one we're gonna have to get back in transition and guard and we got a rebound it's another team that's got some guys that can that can shoot the ball they have the hecker kid and the laird kid and those guys can you know they can make some threes and keep it interesting but They've done a, a very good job of, of improving gradually, and it's a much improved team since we first played them. Well, there you have it right from the coach's mouth. It's going to be a good one. We'll have it for you on YSN Live tomorrow night on YSN. We'll invade Struthers, and it should be a good basketball game. Coach, let's dive in. This is the week. Tournament time, seedings, pairings. Yep. Been for Coach Warnecki. You know, it's, the hard thing is, is evaluating teams that haven't played. Right. Um, you know, there's such a discrepancy, you know, like you said, I, we've been unbelievably blessed to, to be sitting here now having played 17 games. There's a lot of teams that have only played five. Some have played four, some have played nine, some have played 10, you know, and it's hard to evaluate some of those teams because, um, number one, they've had, you know, many disruptions and, and whatnot. But what I am focusing on is the really good teams in our district. And there is some teams that are playing really well right now. You think, I think so? Uh, let, let, I think, Ursh, uh, I yeah, think uh, Ursuline's playing as good as anybody. Cheney. Uh, Cheney is obviously uh, tremendous. And I don't Poland. want to fight anybody. No. I want to ask you this, and this is just my opinion. This may be one of the best Division II tournaments we've had in a long, long time. I, I think if uh, – here's what I'll say. I think if it was traditional and we had the Boardman district. It would be awesome. It would be awesome. Uh, I think, you know, the way it is with, with two 13-team brackets and people are going to, you know, choose to go in different directions, uh, I think some of those matchups, you know, that we could have had at Boardman early on, you know, might not happen. Um, but like I said, you have, you have Cheney, who is tremendous, who, who can win the district. Ursuline is playing as well as anybody in the district and can absolutely win the district. Poland can absolutely win the district. Um, you know, I would say, you know, then you've got other teams like West Branch, who I think is very good. Uh, the Perry team that we that we played earlier in the year up by Cleveland is very good. Um, you know, so th there are some really strong teams in this district. And, you know, it's, it'll seem a little different because when you, you know, when you go from 13 to 26 – people go different directions. But if it was at Boardman and we weren't in COVID, people would be really – they'd be treated to some the, tremendous basketball. It would be the place to be in Northeast. Yep. Yep. That, that's, Coach, what I miss about it. Not that I, I like 
disliked an old system versus a new system. I loved like one facility. Yeah. Go play. You get to go watch. Those days are gone. What are your thoughts on on coach being able to choose where you want to go? Do you like that or are you against that? Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it means to be honest right. with you. Like you, people can overthink this. You know, no matter no matter what you decide to do, you still got to win three or four games to win the district. Right. And you're, you're not you can't manipulate it to where you don't play anybody. You're going to play a good team. You're going to play probably two or three good teams. Sure. So if you sit there and try to, you know, overthink it and, you know, try to put yourself here and there and the other place. I don't know. We're going to put ourselves on the bracket. Um, right. I, I, I haven't decided. I think we might choose to play. I don't know. Right. Um, rather than not taking the bye. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I, we got to play the teams that are in front of us, whether it's three games or four games, you, you can try to, you know, do, do what you want with the bracket, but you still got to play the games. Yeah. And, and, and it's funny that you say that. Cause I, I think I'm like you, a lot of teams with the day by day of not knowing you may want to play some of the better teams may want to play that first round and get themselves prepared and, and back into a rhythm. So I agree with you on that, but let's be honest, Struthers fans, you have a very good basketball team. Coach, I, I've known you a long time. I'm going to say you got as good a chance as anybody in Division II to, to go represent our area because I, I love what you guys do. I, I love the way you play, and you guys have had a phenomenal season. No, I appreciate it. I mean, yeah, I, I've got a good group, and, and they've definitely worked hard to put themselves in this position. Um, you know, again, there's a lot of forces in the day and age that we're in that are outside of the program that, that can drastically have an impact on – on how your season ends. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think we're playing our best basketball right now. Uh, we got a couple, you know, two short weeks to try to figure it out, but um, it's going to be fun and it's going to be exciting. Uh, you know, when the bracket comes out, it'll be interesting to see, you know, where all these teams go. And, and, and again, you know, you could, you could grab a team and think, Oh, you know, that team's not great. And they've only played eight games and they yep. might be better than us. I don't know. Yeah. That's, so, that's, Tough part of all this. Coach, I appreciate you again. Good luck tomorrow night against Hubbard. We'll talk next week when the brackets come out. We'll dive into that. Appreciate what you do for all of us at Wise. Good luck tomorrow night and uh, keep doing what you do. Stay safe and keep doing what you guys do on a daily basis. No, I we appreciate it. We appreciate your support. And I will say this. I, I hope you guys will be able to cover the, the, the tournament. And, I, you know, you guys, what you guys have done this year has been amazing. And, and I, I, I can't understate, you know, the fact that I, I've heard some of the numbers that, that post for the games and how many people are actually watching these games. And I, I don't think it's it, – it, it's, uh, I don't think you guys need to worry about if you have to charge people to watch these games in the tournament. Uh, I think it's worth every penny. Um, I think it would – the alternative of not being able to watch the games for fans, I think – I'll, I think that would be that wouldn't be good. So if, if you guys got to charge people to buy these games, by all means do it. But I think they need to be shown. Well, I appreciate that, Coach. We appreciate you. Best of luck, and we'll talk again next week. Thanks. All righty. All right. Bye bye.